no, 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 no. What the? Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and today we are watching the final episode of season three of The Mandalorian. Last week's episode was absolutely insane. We got to see Moff Gideon again. IG-11 slash 12 made a return and Grogu's having a lot of fun with him. I don't really see Grogu playing a massive part in the battle to come, but hopefully he just stays safe. That's what we can hope for for Grogu. I want to make sure that the Mandalorian himself is safe and I have no idea what's to come, who's going to betray who. There were some allusions to the armorer being corrupt in the comment section of last week's video. So I really hope that's not true, but anything is possible. Anything is game in the Mandalorian. I feel like the stakes are so much higher now that Moff Gideon has actually returned because we know him to be quite a badass. He is one of the villains that actually poses a genuine threat. And as good as Bo-Katan is, as good as the Mandalorian is, Paz Vizsla died last week. I don't think we'll get a conclusion in this final episode. What I think will happen is Ahsoka starting up in August and so they'll probably continue what's going on here into this new Ahsoka series because they've mentioned Admiral Thrawn in the last week's episode as well. So that's what I think will happen. But I'm very pumped for this last episode. Before we get into it, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version. That's going to be over on Patreon. You just need a copy of the episode so that you can watch it along with me. There will be a timer. I can be on one screen. The episode can be on the other screen. And down below, you can also find all of my social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, as well as my two other channels, my gaming channel, Cherry Plays, and my vlog channel, Very Cherry. So guys, let's jump into this last episode of The Mandalorian. Dude, that looks brutal. That weather is brutal. Gonna lose calm soon. Such a stressful situation. Poor Bo. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, good. How did they not see that though, by the way? Like not one of them saw that. They just walked through. Oh, there's Mandalorian. Good. I, I was hoping that we would cut to him very soon. Nice. He knows how to get out of every situation, doesn't he? Oh my God. <laughs> He's just too OP, isn't he? Oh, behind you. Woo! Lassos are no good. Good for the person using it. No. Oh, no. Grogu. No. <laughs> no, you don't hurt my daddy. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's a strong IG-12. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love this. I'm gonna need you to be brave for me, okay? If we don't take out Moff Gideon, this will never end. I love that he tells him everything and he's open with him. Oh, they've just got the sweetest relationship. He doesn't try to dim any situation down. The return. The return. An exciting title. Please, nothing bad happened to Bo. That's all I ask. I really think they're setting Bo and Mando up to rule together and be together. This is not good. They are being followed. Damn you, Moff Gideon. But the Mandalorian has escaped. Yeah, he has, obviously. Oh, he's tracking him. No, I'll Whoa. take care of him myself. His voice is so scary when he puts the helmet on. Be careful, R5. Grogu. Oh yeah, R5. I forgot about R5. Come on, you can do this, R5. I believe in you. Doing his job. I'm proud of him. I, you know, doubt him sometimes. Because he's a little scaredy cat. Oh, he's so nervous. <gasps> Mouse droid. Do the stealthily R5. Very cool. Good, good. Decoy ship. Let's go, let's go. Such a high stakes situation. And the music makes it even more anxiety invoking. Man. Oh. oh, here we go. Decoy ship time. I feel bad for Axe though. What's gonna happen to him? I'm sure he'll yeet out of there whenever he needs to. Deactivate them one at a time. Nice. On my command. Nice. Without any weapon, oh, like proper oh, weapons as well. Hell yeah. Teamwork makes the bloody dream work. Nice. Now he has a weapon. Oh. <laughs> He's 
doing so well with what little he has. Just picking up things along the way. Uh-oh, the mouse droid. Oh, crush it. Oh, it's going to be a little bit harder now. No. Oh, God, poor R5. It's probably freaking out. Oh, he did something. He attacked. That's a shock. Still managed. How good is he? Good job, buddy. Even with that mouse droid in the way, they still did it. Oh, great. More. More mouse droids. I don't know what's going to happen to R5, but this is not good. They're so tiny. <gasps> He's like, bye. <laughs> clones. So he just has heaps of clones of himself. Oh, oh Grogu got scared. Oh, poor little darling. Oh, I got bloody scared. And I'm not even a baby. Oh, my God. That kind of sucks, though, because if you get rid of one Gideon, he's got a lot of backups. At least we now have that confirmed. He has been making clones of himself. Nice. At least they have a place to relax a little bit. We planted farms. Oh, they planted? These are the old species indigenous to Mandalore. Oh, wow. All they need is room to grow. That is just really lovely. That is wholesome. I don't really know what my cat wants right now, by the way, guys. I'm sorry. Hype! Big hype! <laughs> so cool! And she's got the dark saber as well. They're ready for war. They really are. I just don't see any reason why the armor would betray anyone. I mean, would betray the Mandalorians. I don't see how or why. Nice! Oh my god, the dark saber looks so cool in the air like that. Poor Mando's all alone. Not that I'm worried for him. He seems to manage just fine. <gasps> the door just closed. This isn't good. He's been trapped. <gasps> He's We're mad. Moff Gideon's mad. By adding the one thing I never had. What's that? The force. Oh. I was isolating the potential into an unstoppable army. Ooh, he's so angry. He looks genuinely so upset. <gasps> that suit is insane. Oh my God. It's like a rocket launcher came out of his suit. How is he going to defeat him? <gasps> oh my God. This is nuts. This is not fair. Oh, oh no. Oh, I am, I am genuinely worried. Oh no, these blokes. Just get rid of these three and then you can focus on Moth. Please, nothing bad happened to Mando. <gasps> what are you gonna do? No, no. Oh, little angel. Oh God, don't hurt Grogu. Oh no, 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 no. no. What the, what the hell is going on? No, no, no. Um, uh, I, I, I don't think Grogu can take those three on if Paz Vizsla couldn't. No, I don't want anything bad to happen to Grogu. He was just trying to protect his dad. Oh god, Grogu's down. <laughs> wow. I really hope I'm underestimating Grogu. I really, really hope. Oh. Oh, oh, he's using the flamethrower on him. Oh God, he's so strong. How is Mando going to beat him? I, I don't know. Oh, back up. Oh, I've got this. Go save your. <gasps> yes. Thank Three. God for Bo. Surrender. I doubt she's gonna surrender, mate. Ah, let's fight. <gasps> That's pretty bad too. Yes. Oh my god, what an epic battle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is just stressing me. Oh, he got the door to open. Oh. Oh my goodness. That was just such a close call. I was genuinely so worried. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm just so emotional right now. <laughs> I really am. I think that Grogu will help his dad in any way he can. Oh, see, there we go. Some force moves. Oh, wow. Oh. Nice, Grogu. Good job, buddy. You did good, kid. 
<laughs> oh, I was, I was so worried. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, how's Wolf doing? Wolf, Wolf, sorry. Axe Wolf. Oof. Oh, that was close. Get up, girl. Come on. Maybe now that Mando's gotten rid of those three fighters, he can come and help Bo. Hand over the dark saber, and I will give you a warrior's death. What kind of deal is that? Hell no. Yes, Bo. Oh, he's just so strong. Oh, God. Oh, no. He broke it. <gasps> oh. Mandalorians are weak once they lose their trinkets. No. Bo strong. Are stronger together. Oh, she's got something planned. Yes. Or maybe she just saw the Mandalorian coming up from behind. And she expects war to come. Such a shame about the Darksaber, though. Ooh. Oh, my God. This is nuts. It's so beautifully shot, too. Oh, my Lord. Look at that explosion. Everything's falling apart. Oh, let's look out for Grogu, please. Don't forget him. Oh, warrior scream. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, came in to protect Grogu. Oh, crap. He just got engulfed by the flames. <laughs> Holy crap. Triumphant music playing. Oh, dude, that is brilliant. Look at those three. Look at those three. Oh, that is a shot. That is a beautiful picture right there. That shield is very good, too. Oh, <laughs> he's like, I need to sit down. This is definitely not the end, though. Moff Gideon still has a council. And there's the armorer. See, she didn't betray anyone. I swear on my name Ragnar. Oh. I shall walk the way of the Mandalore. Oh, he's becoming a full Mandalorian. Wow. Your dad, Paz Vizsla, would be so proud of you. No more IG-12, though. Rip. Didn't last very long, but I guess it was getting pretty annoying with the no, no, yes, yes that Grogu kept abusing. He is no longer a foundling. No longer? Add him to the song. No longer a foundling? If his parent gave permission, couldn't he then become a Mandalorian apprentice? Hey. Yes, but his parents are far from here. Uh, Mandalorian, his, his dad adopted, but still. Then I will adopt him as my own. Oh, he hasn't done that yet. What? <laughs> this is the way. Now that's the way. way. Amara said yes. Let oh. it be written in song that Din Djarin is accepting this foundling as his son. My goodness. Oh, he's got a hope. You are now Din Grogu. Din Grogu. This is the way. Oh, I could burst. <laughs> Oh, Grogu. I'm so proud of Grogu. Uh-oh, the Mythosaur. Still around. But they got their home back. Oh, my goodness. Bo is becoming the official leader, I think, right now. Even without the Darksaber. No, I think this is not her becoming the official leader. I think this is just... Yeah. Mandalore's back. This is what that is. Where have they gone? Oh! Let me buy you a drink, his old mate. <laughs> He's already eaten. What? Yeah? It's not him, kid. One of them reminds him of someone he knew. Oh. I'll be more selective in my assignments. Good. You want to work for the New Republic on a case by case basis. Okay. You know, this is against regulation. You'll never get approved. <laughs> Which is why you won't tell them. Let me think about it. You already did. <laughs> what I want in return is that. Oh, for... It for parts. Oh, he's going to try and fix IG-11. Well, IG-12. Lay low with your new family. Oh, oh that you. is lovely. Ah. And I have a gift for you as well. Oh, IG-11. I IG-11, your new marshal. Oh, we got a marshal. It's IG-11, not IG-12. That is awesome. Nice little home. Oh, peace. 
actual peace for once oh and he's practicing the force too little grogu beautiful beautiful I really like this episode, but as I mentioned in my introduction, I didn't think that we would have a conclusion in this last episode. I thought the story would drag into the new Ahsoka show just because they mentioned Admiral Thrawn and just because Moff Gideon was so OP. The way he went out was absolutely insane. They did lose one thing, which was the Darksaber, but as the Mandalorian mentioned in the last episode, most Mandalorians don't actually care about the Darksaber. They care about fighting for some Someone who is loyal and who cares about the cause and all of that good stuff. So they lost the Darksaber, but they had their lives. It just seemed a little bit easy. I thought that the stakes were so high just because Moff Gideon remained alive. All this time we thought he was captured. There was no more threat anymore. And he persevered through all of that. And he became a part of a secret council, has a bunch of spies. The Imperial remnants are obviously still going to be around in the background because the council still exists. And I assume they will hear about Moff Gideon's death, probably select a new leader. Not that Moff Gideon was the leader, but they will probably select a new leader and just keep going on. Mandalorian now working for the New Republic. It's probably a good sign because he obviously now knows that there are indeed Imperial remnants and that needs to be addressed so that's all well and fine but it just felt a little bit too easy i don't know if i'm just nitpicking at it it just seemed like even in obi-wan the show and the book of boba fett there were just a lot of scenes where the good guys are fighting the bad guys and it's just way too easy like us as an audience don't actually feel like our favorite characters are threatened and Paz Vizsla did die in last week's episode of course rest in peace he did die the way that he wanted to die and for the cause for Mandalore, for the Mandalorians. And I thought it was really nice that they included the scene with his son in today's episode, Ragnar. That was really lovely. So obviously there were real consequences in last week's episode. I was expecting more deaths, to be honest. I don't think any Mandalorians died in this one. We saw a lot of stormtroopers die. They were a little bit stupid. Like not one of them saw that Bo-Katan placed a bomb. It's a bit strange. I thought it was really cool that Moff Gideon was creating all of these clones. That was awesome. I didn't know that they were awake though. And then in the scene afterwards when Moff Gideon was really angry and he said they didn't get to draw their first breath, one of their eyes definitely opened and scared Grogu and myself as well. So I don't know how far he went developing them and, and whatnot. I, I don't know. I just feel like they could have done a little bit more there with the clone storyline and potentially dragged it into the Ahsoka show. Feels like the Ahsoka show will just be about her mission in capturing Thrawn. At least season one will be like that. I just feel like I enjoyed season one and two of The Mandalorian just more than I enjoyed season three. I was quite disappointed overall. I think it's to do with the fact that the first half of the season just felt like a lot of filler episodes. And then when we finally started to get onto the main mission, which was reclaiming Mandalore and reuniting all of the Mandalorians back together so that they can all reclaim their land. That to me was solid and it felt really good for a story that was was good it just felt like the stakes just weren't high as bad as Moff Gideon was he was actually a little bit easy to defeat I don't know if I'm making any sense or if anybody feels the same way as I do I'm quite new to Star Wars in general I've only started my Star Wars journey over the last two and a half years three years something like that and so I've seen all of the main movies and I've seen a few of the shows that have come out prior to 2020 when I first started my journey. I haven't read any of the books or anything like that. I don't know what is supposed to be canon per se. I, I don't really know if this is how it was meant to turn out. But I will say that I really enjoyed the battle scenes, especially the ones in the sky. And then when the Mandalorian was protecting Grogu, I was genuinely worried for Grogu when the doors closed. And then when IG-12 collapsed, I was genuinely so afraid for Grogu and you know if he did die which would 
have been an absolute shame and I would have cried and rioted. At least I would have understood that the stakes were high for a reason. I'm not saying Grogu should have died, by the way. Absolutely not saying that. Somebody else could have died and I would have been fine with that. Um, also, people's theories about the armorer being a spy for Moff Gideon didn't turn out to be true. But I think it would have been really cool. That idea in general was an interesting and thought provoking idea because the armorer in some ways seems like the leader of all of the Mandalorians because she seems to recruit a lot and she helps them a lot and does a lot of speeches and things like that. But no, she was she was fine as well. So it just felt a little bit lackluster for me. I'm hoping that the Ahsoka show is a little bit different, more exciting. The stakes are hopefully a lot higher. I don't know, man. <laughs> I just feel slightly disappointed and I hope this doesn't offend any massive Star Wars fans. I obviously don't mean to offend, but those were just my thoughts and my opinions of this particular season of The Mandalorian. I've loved it so far. It's just this season has been disappointing. So let me know what you thought of the season overall in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help my channel out. And you can find the uncut version of this video over on Patreon. You just need a copy of the episode so that you can watch it along with me. There's actually a library full of content, including all the Star Wars movies. Just so much there over on Patreon. Early access, bloopers, polls, and things like that. If you want to support me, the link is down below. And you can also find all of my social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, as well as my two other channels, my gaming channel, Cherry Plays, and my vlog channel, Very Cherry. So guys, thank you so much for watching this final episode with me. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.